whisper because I think Sophie is asleep. Matter of fact, let's go see. I don't know if this is okay, but I'm also the kid that, I don't know, duct tapes his car. You guys have full rights to roast me at this point because, um, I mean, honestly, it's pretty bad. Yes, sir, that is some duct tape. So we're gonna put some raw eggs in my shake and uh, hopefully I don't die. No, I won't die. Ooh, I got the freaking shell in there. How do I get it out? Come here. I got it. Cocoa Pebbles. Now they have a Fruity Pebbles one and it tastes just like Fruity Pebbles. I'm gonna get that one next and then I'll show you guys what that one looks like. Finish him. The egg makes it really thick, which is kind of gross, but it's really not that gross. No, you really can't taste it. You really can't even tell it's in there. So let's go to the gym. We're going to work some chest. It's going to be crazy. Do we take the 350Z, as you can see her chilling over there, looking fresh, or do we take the 2JZ swap Toyota truck, boys? Uh, a lot of you guys like Stone's truck, and you guys know we're going to 2JZ swap it. Uh, probably ain't going to happen, but that's what we're dreaming for with the Yoda. So, uh, boys, we're going to take the Subi. Now, the reason we're taking the Zubi is because we're actually tuning the Z tomorrow. Oh, the garbage truck. The garbage... <laughs> garbage dude. Fuck. The guy that takes your garbage just came, so we got to take care of stuff for the pops. You know what I mean? We got to hurry, River. What are you doing? Cold start for the boys. Well, the seasons are changing and you can tell it's getting a little bit warmer out here. Hence why I'm not wearing a shirt and it's 46 degrees. Most people that'd be extremely cold and you guys would think I'm crazy, but 46 degrees in Utah, we'd die for. Hey, hey, baby. Baby, tell him. But no, what I was saying is when it gets a little bit warmer, the cold starts aren't as aggressive. I've noticed that. I have one thing to ask from you guys, and that is to watch and view this whole video. Do it for me, guys. The videos I make are free, and I put a lot of work into them. I do have merch available. I never asked you guys to buy it, but you can cop some merch if you want to be dripping. www.dripmods.com. Go check it out. See what we got posted up in there. And let's get it. This is where I parked the Subi. It's on the very end. There's the gym. Look how poppin' it is. I'm not excited for that. But you guys might be wondering why I drove the Subaru when I have a air leak, technically. Here's why. Our cars are tuned on a dynamic tuning. Now, I can't remember if it's dynamic tuning specifically. We'd have to ask Kirk because he knows a lot more. Um, EJ Motor, it's a lot different. But this car, you can kind of just do it. Instead of using the mass airflow sensor hooked to your air intake, he uses a different sensor to actually get the reading for the air. Kirk can converted it on his STI, his 04 STI. We'll talk a little bit more about that because we have a little surprise for Kirk's 04 STI and I just wish I could just spill the beans right now. But let's just say more power is coming soon, probably next video. So get ready for that, it's super exciting. And then we also have to tune the Z. So here we go, let's go lift some chest. It's Monday, National Chest Day, let's go. There's no cup holders in here. Actually, there's like three. What is up everybody? What the craziest thing happened and here's what's going on. The 350Z actually has a check engine light. Now I know you guys are probably crapping yourselves right now like, bruh, you just bought this car. What do you mean it has a check engine light? Well, yeah, the Z's got a check engine light. Now look at it. Uh, what is going on? What is that? Oh my gosh, what is going on, bro? I'm hitting buttons, I'm not used to this. So currently right now, we are on our way out to Salt Lake City, guys. I'm taking the Z to the tuner. The check engine light is due to the oxygen sensors or the O2 sensors. Now, the reason that being is because I have Burke High Flow Cats on the car. Now, here's what's crazy is I don't know why I didn't have a check engine light before. I reached out to Wynn and I said, yo, bro, did you ever have problems with the High Flow Cats? Did you ever have a check engine light? And he said, no, I've had the exhaust set up on there for 10 years and I've never had a problem, which honestly to me doesn't make sense. I mean, the world may never know. If you don't have stock cats on, you're gonna have a check engine light and that means you need to tune so what we're doing today is we are heading out to Salt Lake I'm going to my Subaru tuner now he only does Subarus but you know 
We're homies. He's gonna take a look at the Z and he's going to attempt to open source tune the Z. He has to have the Z in his hands. He's gotta plug it in to see if he can even back into the stock ECU. Oh, 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 the Z. I just cannot wait to keep progressing with this car, guys. It's super dope. I just love the Z. I love the way it looks. I love the way it feels. I love the aggressiveness of the whole vibe, the whole look. You can just tell. I said this before, Nissan. Like, I love you guys. You guys are amazing. And the reason I say that is because your cars are so race car. Like, like your pl the platform itself is genuinely just race car. And then it just corresponds up into the GTRs. And you guys know the GTRs are my favorite absolute. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have one one day. Um, I'm speaking that shit into existence, manifest, let's go. So if you guys need some motivation for the day, there you go. Uh, I love the Zs. So far, I'm absolutely just 110% satisfied. So let's get the car to the tuner. Let's see what he has to say. And whew, let's go, boys. It's gonna be a great day. As you see, there is a bridge that you have to go under that every time we tune our cars, this is the bridge you test your car underneath. Let's get some Z action in the bridge. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. Guys, I cannot believe we finally made it to the Subi shop. We're a little out of place with the Z, and you can tell they got all the Subarus here. Uh, they have like seven more. Ryan is probably tuning one. I cannot believe that we made it on these tires. You guys never really seen what the tread looked like. But if you can see right here, they are so bald. I should not even be driving the car. I'm gonna hit up my wheel guy right now. We're gonna get some wheels on the Z. If we gotta buy some tires, we might as well do the wheels. New wheels for the Z coming soon. But let's figure out this tuning. Let's see if we can tune the Z first. Let's go see what Ryan's doing. Sheesh, look at the Z, boys. <laughs> oh, I want a bug eye or a blob eye or a blob eye. Maybe even the 2011, maybe we should buy one. What are you doing? What are you doing? All right, boys, Ryan's gonna go grab his computer. I'm gonna pull the Z up, and we're gonna see if we can hack the system. Boys, this looks like a 2021 STI that they just pulled off the dyno. Z just doesn't even know what to do right now. He's just looking at all these subies like, where am I? It's gonna be good. All right, change of plans. Uh, Ryan's computer is actually dead. I'm gonna back it up and we're gonna go over here to the other side of the shop. Is that like a database? This is like on a Subaru if you do open source. Mm -hmm. And this is what the software you would use. Oh yeah, because you were saying the Cobb, you just use the Cobb platform, right? Yeah. So it tries to read it. Mm -hmm. it, gives us, it gives us shuts it down. Do you know if this car has some type of tune already on it? Yeah, he said no. Uh, it's a 2004, but which is also kind of weird is he told me he's never had a problem with the check engine light coming on, and he's had the same exhaust setup for like 10 years. I mean, you driving on the freeway would have ran the... Yeah, it's an 04, 19, yep, 04. The lint modes or whatever, or the cycle. The drive cycle, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, we just got home and I can't even wait. I have to pee so bad. I'm gonna freaking pee my pants. If you guys want a free 350Z, there's one in my driveway, but I gotta pee so bad. Oh, my key. My keys are in the Z. Oh dear lordy. I'm gonna pee my pants. Guys, I've been bulking at the gym, going hard in the paint. So I've been drinking so much water. It's a good feeling, it feels weird, but then it feels good.
There's a reason they named me River. <laughs> All right, we're done here. All right, guys, so we just got back from the shop, and basically the only way to tune this car, Ryan hooked up his computer. He was not able to enter into the stock ECU. What I'm gonna have to do if we wanna tune the Z, mailbox, we don't wanna look at you. I'm gonna have to access my calibration number that is for my ECU. I might be able to go to Nissan, the dealership, and actually get that for my specific VIN number, and then Ryan will be able to um, open source tune the car. For some reason, I thought that's what the check engine light was for. Let's take a seat in the Z so I can kind of explain what happened at the shop. Where do I mount my camera, boys? Oh. Tell me this works. Tell me this works. No way. No way. Yo! First things first, shout out to Lil Skies because he says it plain as day. Me personally, not having a mechanical background with any of my family, guys, I am the first person to get into cars in my family. I'm the first one. So what do I have to do? I got no education. I have to learn everything on my own, which is what I have done through the past years. Uh, Subaru is so awesome because they make it so much easier to bypass all the problems. Uh, it's also a boosted car, so your O2 sensors are in different locations. You have one upstream on the up pipe. You have one on the downstream on the down pipe. I never really had an aftermarket up pipe on any of my Subarus uh, prior to any tuning. So I never got the check engine light and I really wasn't too familiar with O2 sensors other than the one that is on the downstream or behind the cat because all that sensor is doing is just saying, yo, your cat's working or yo, your cat isn't working. Ryan and I ended up going back into the shop. We did some research. The code that I am throwing is for my bank one sensor one and my bank two sensor one, which means it's the the sensors before the cats. That is not a catalytic converter problem. So I have the Burke High Flow cats. If you pull up an image of them, bink, you will see they have a little bunge on them, which essentially rigs and tricks your computer for you. So you can buy these cats and still run them and not have any problems and you won't throw a check engine light. So they basically put the bunge on there for you. That bunge is spacing the O2 sensor further out of the hole so it doesn't get an accurate reading. That's how that works. That's how you get around those problems. My my problem is the sensors are bad on, in front of the cat. So air to fuel ratio problems, okay? Here's what's weird is both sensors are triggered right now. I have a code for the bank one sensor and the bank two sensor, sensor one specifically, okay? This is where you start diagnosing problems, which is totally fine, guys. And this is what I love doing is because I love solving problems. I'm the best at it. So basically, we have this car now and we're just gonna go crazy with it. I'm super excited for all the videos to happen. So tomorrow, we're gonna start on this tomorrow and I cannot wait. Wait, actually, we might do the charge pipe on the Subaru tomorrow. I'm not sure. We'll figure it out tomorrow. So, <laughs> First things first, I'm gonna start out with just cleaning the mass airflow sensor. I do have an aftermarket air intake, which is essentially gonna make the sensor extremely dirty because k &N filters are oiled. We're gonna take procedures here. We're gonna start with cleaning the mass airflow sensor and I'll probably just I'll probably just swap out the k &N filter for a new one. Um, I know there's ways to clean it, but I haven't really actually searched on how to do that. Hmm. Either way, I'd, I'd rather just buy another one because I kind of want a red one anyways. But either way, guys, if that doesn't work, I'm going to replace the sensors themselves. If that doesn't work, we'll probably do like a smog test to see if there's an air leak. So we're just going to diagnose ourselves because the check engine light can only get you so far. Guys, I learned a lot going to Ryan. I love going to Ryan. In the next video that we're working on the Z, I'm going to really show you guys how to really read your fuel cut. Basically to tell if the car is leaning or running rich. So we're going to go over that process. It's really good, useful information to know. The only reason I know the stuff I know is because I did it. New platform, 350Z, we're going out of the Subarus. There's a lot to learn here. I'm learning every day, you guys are learning every day, and together, we are the Drip Mods family. I'll see you guys next video, and until next time. Ugh, ugh, that's old, an hour old, but it's all melted and gross. Peace. Wow. I think my life is a movie Papa Rossi, they all tryna show me But it's all Gucci Bless my his shawty, he's a groupie My life got me feeling like I troll me Trolling, yeah, I think my life is a movie Papa Rossi, they all tryna show me But it's all Gucci Bless my his shawty, he's a groupie My life got me feeling like I troll me